Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market. So this time once again. The fundamental background on the gold market looks more interesting than the technical part. And, um, well, currently, so lots of big events are happening. I'm trying to not bother you with some military news from the Middle East, from the Ukraine, uh, just to not overload the, uh, our Telegram channel with uh, topics that actually are not our primary ones. So we're not the military expert, experts, we're mostly focused on the markets but unfortunately we're living in a time moment where the military news sometimes means more than actually some economical news uh, but you have ability to subscribe some specific channels in the telegram that's very uh, comfortable to do with this messenger and things that you like and actually track the situation uh, as you would like to of course we have to treat this uh, with some skepticism because both parts of the conflict trying to reproduce their actual situation in the way that they like to uh, and uh, but if you consider the both parts of the conflict with some discounts you understand in general what's going on and uh, I would like to say that although I'm not actually focused on this in reports but I would say that currently the geopolitical situation based on the news that i see escalating across the board so particularly speaking we already shared in the telegram that the very important day in the next week will be tuesday because on tuesday uh it is planned their negotiations between the iran and, and the united states trying to prevent big conflict uh, Israel that actually do not want this and they will try to sabotage these negotiations so it's, it's really really tough situation there and uh, depending on what will happen it could make the direct impact on the gold next week so next week i suspect the major driver for the gold will be geopolitics not some personal consumption expenditures report something of this sort because even months ago we said that it is everything clear about the fed it's nothing interesting anymore what's the data will be released uh, inflation and so on it is obvious that uh, fed will start cutting rate that's all so this is becoming not as important as the domestic political struggle in the united states and the geopolitical situation so on the technical side uh one thing that we could say that we have the major target still 2635 it is monthly next will be big target 2870 this is all time op that we have on the daily chart next target stands around 2670 2675 uh, which is actually in excess of the monthly target that agrees with the daily ever uh, and probably will be reached this target i suppose might be completed if uh, indeed some geopolitical news will be bad so it will be some supports for instance if negotiations will fail or something of this kind in this case market could try to climb in excess of the other bot and complete the daily xop around 26 7th. it's also possible but let's first take a look at what will happen here on low in same frame i do not see really big things that we could do in the beginning of the week because on the fall time from chart you could see straightforward action market stands very close to the target just 15 dollars until the major target will be reached and overall scenario goes with our butterfly so if we'll take a look at the hourly chart this is the pattern that we considered retracement that we would like to get already has happened 127 target has happened here is by the way it was just very small pullback take a look and the next target that we only have here is 1618 2633 which will finalize the major monthly op that we have so in the current circumstances the taking on the new position doesn't worth the risks that we could get because we could easily be trapped in the wrong direction uh, right at the daily uh, monthly and three month overbought and right at the major 
uh, monthly OP target, which is, you, you probably agree that it's not best combination for taking any long positions. That's why the conclusion stands as follows. So if you have long positions based on this butterfly or, or any other trades that you have made previously, probably you could stay focused on this target. For those who do not have any longs, we do not have any bearish patterns, don't have any bearish setups, so it's definitely not consider taking any shorts by far. Uh, those who would like to take a long position also have to wait for how some healthy moderate pullback maybe will happen based on uh, due to the reaction on a very significant target and then we we'll return back to discussion on the possible position taken once we will get some clarity what will happen around the target what recent news will be uh, what the patterns will be formed and so on so uh, that will, should let us to create the new trading plan for the next step on the gold market